Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second installment on the blend video. Uh, and I, I left one step out that's kind of important, so I thought I would uh, do this. But just draw two objects, any kind of objects that you can draw, you can blend together. So go up to Effects, Blend. It's going to open up your Docker. We're going to apply that, and we're going to make 20 of them, 20 steps. But then we want to blend it to a new path. And you can also check that. Well, let's do this the old way. Just new path. Tell it where you want it. It's going to put it right there. Then you're going to go blend along full path and hit apply. Now, what I left out in the first video is this is all connected together and it's all going to work good. But it, you don't want that hairline in there. All you do need, need to do is break blend apart. Hit that hairline, hit delete, group these back together, and then you can do anything with them. You can resize them. Uh, I don't know when you ever use that, but uh, I was just showing that you could do other shapes. And what is really cool, so let's back up here and get my stars back. Okay, we've got our stars back. I'm going to blend along this path. So I'm going to grab our item, new path, blend a full path, apply. That's pretty cool. I can see how you could use this. You could, you know, I'm just envisioning putting uh, waves, you know, little ripples in the water. But, you know, what's so cool about this, if you don't like that, well, the stars are a little close together. Just take a few out and hit apply. And I mean, you can, you can, there's a lot. I've just started playing with this, but there's a lot you can do with it. But you need to break it apart, hit your hairline, and there you go. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.